Google, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jerisha, for having me. Now, we're going to speak about a very exciting initiative, and it plans to give millions to women in business. Tell us a bit more about it. Okay, last week we launched our Women in Business Fund, which is a 250 million rent fund offering loans from 500,000 to 50 million for women who own 50% of their businesses and who are also active in their businesses. We think it's exciting because over the years we've just financed businesses where there's 25% ownership. That was the criteria. But now we're saying we want to up the game. We want to see more women going to entrepreneurship and not just being a small part of the business, but running that business themselves. Google, are you able to give us an indication of just how many women entrepreneurs there are in the country? Or can you give us an indication of the comparison between um, the numbers of, of, of men and women entrepreneurs? I think it's it's very difficult to say, Jerusha, because we talk about there are 600,000 SMEs in South Africa. We don't specify how many women, but we, we, we find that women are 52% 50, of the population in the country. And then on top of that, you find that entrepreneurial activity at low levels for women has gone down from 9% to 6.2%. 6 so if 6.2% of the female population that could be going into entrepreneurship is interested in entrepreneurship, it just shows that there's a lot more that still needs to be done in the country. But what I find is that we, we, we criticize ourselves as a country. So what I then did was to look at what is happening out there beyond South Africa in developed countries like the US, for instance. And you find that women entrepreneurship accounts for only 30% of entrepreneurship in that country, which is still very low, considering that women are part of the, like a, a large part of the population. But also when you look at the US, for instance, they talk about one in five businesses that make a profit of a, a million dollars are owned by women. So there's a long way to go, not just for our country, but for the world in, in general, because gender equality is still el eluding us as, 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 as the world. Why don't you speak to us then about some of the challenges that are specific to women entrepreneurs in South Africa? Okay, I think the first one would be access to finance, which is the same for both women and men. But what we find with women is that because of the past, women have not been able to own property. So they don't have that property necessarily that will serve as collateral that their finances look for. So that's the first challenge. And then you find that these cultural stereotypes or, 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 or women are not encouraged to go into entrepreneurship, just like you find that women are not encouraged to go into the male dominated industries, women are, are not encouraged to go into entrepreneurship as well. So that's a challenge and we need to change it from the home environment where you have both girls and boys doing the same chores, both boys and girls being encouraged to get paid for the chores that they do in, around the house. But also when you talk to your boy and you talk to your girl, you talk in the same way when it comes to entrepreneurship because you're encouraging both of them to go into, into that field. But you also find that women have the challenge of balancing family and work life. So it would be the same in entrepreneurship as well. So you find that women have got family responsibility and therefore they do not go into entrepreneurship as they would. And which is why you find that in entrepreneurship, even in our own statistics as business partners, women that go into entrepreneurship are already in their early 50s. So it's somebody who's had babies, has looked after them and then decide I want to follow my passion and then do something that I like in entrepreneurship. So those are some of the challenges. And most of them as you can see it's, it's it's things that we need to change in our cultural mindset and we as society then need to do more so that we encourage the young ones to go into entrepreneurship we need to present them with the role models that they can look up to so if you i look at a dr judy lamin who's successful in entrepreneurship as a young girl i can then say oh i can also go into entrepreneurship and that's what we need to do Let's speak a little bit more about this 250 million rand fund. If there is a viewer who is watching this video and thinks, I can really benefit from one of those loans, what would the process be? The process would be to either send us an email, so it's inquiries at businesspartners.co.za, but what we've done with this fund is we've asked our female investment team to be 
the leaders in, 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 in this fund management. So we have various people who can assist with the application process, and those are women. And people can check those on our website, businesspartners.co.za. So it's send an email with a business plan reflecting your cash flow with your CV, because as business partners, we look at the viability of the business. So it's important to look at the viability of the business, but look at the entrepreneurial capability as well. So we look at your CV, we look at your business plan, and then decide whether we can finance you or not. And the nice thing I can say though, Jerusha, with this fund is we've offered technical assistance, which is mentorship for women as a grant, up to 25,000 rands. So if you apply and you qualify and you are approved, you can get up to 25,000 rands in technical assistance from business partners. And if that is not enough, you can apply for an interest-free loan for this technical assistance of up to 35,000 rands in addition. Google, I'm absolutely certain that we're going to be checking in with you in the future to hear about some of the success stories that have come out of this fund. Won't you just very quickly just uh, refresh our memories with that website and email address for our viewers to get in contact? Okay, definitely they can visit our website, businesspartners.co.za, or they can send an email at inquiries at businesspartners.co.za. Thank you so much for speaking to us today. Thank you so much for having us.